Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a 3D whole illusion in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. Okay, once you have Illustrator ready, you're going to go to your type tool and click anywhere on your canvas. We're going to select uh, one letter here in our typing and we're going to use the letter E. I'm going to highlight it. Let's change the font to Futura Bold. It's a great bold font and you're going to want a bold font for this. I'm going to set the points. 300 and we're going to take our letter and go to create outlines under type that we can increase the size of this a bit more now go uh, to the corner of your letter click and drag and hold shift and so we want it to turn at a 45 degree angle like this we want to use that 45 degree angle and rotate it by going up to Effect, 3D, and Rotate. I'm going to start by hitting Preview and setting all of our angles here to zero. And I want to use the uh, top angle here and just rotate it back some degrees. About right there is good. I'm going to hit OK. And what's left over here is a lot of complicated stuff when you use the 3D rotating tools. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Object, Expand Appearance. I'm going to highlight it to make sure we have all of the random objects as created highlighted. And we're going to hit Control shift g a few times to ungroup everything, just in case there's a lot of stuff grouped. I'm going to click on the E and hit Release Mask. This should leave our E completely separate, and this box that's made around it can be deleted. Now we have our E ready to go. We're going to go to our Pen Tool, zoom in on this. And we want to create a straight line going down wherever there's a point with black below it. Uh, so like these outer ones here that have white out here will not be affected. So we're going to hold shift, click, and keep holding shift to make a straight line going down and make it go past the line till it's, till it's in the white. Because uh, I've had issues where I've brought the line down to our segment here to make a perfect segment to block off these shapes and it will not count them as separate shapes when I use my create uh, well we want to use my shape builder tool so I'm going to keep doing this until everything is filled in There we go. Now you can highlight everything, go to your shape builder tool, and just click once in all of your shapes to create the separate shapes. Then hold alt and hover over all of these extra lines that we made on the outside. And with that, uh, nothing should be grouped. If they are grouped, uh, then hit control shift G. Uh, but we're gonna go to our colors here uh, we're going to select all the shapes that we've created in this illusion that go to the outside here, if they, they fit to the right side. And we're going to go to our color, and I've chosen a, a color palette from Adobe Color Themes here. This is a very, very nice section where you can explore at the top of it, and you'll get a bunch of pre-made color palettes submitted by people, and you can sort it by most popular of all time. And there's some beautiful color palettes. I am using vitamin C. This is one of my favorites. And once you have this, you can hit the little periods here and hit add to swatches. I already have any of my swatches here. I'm going to use this light green for this side. And I'm going to select everything else as black. And select another color that's a little darker. And there you have it. You have a really good 
3D illusion going on, but it also works as a good minimalistic logo too. It doesn't have to be seen as a 3D thing. We're going to hold Alt and drag it down to make another one. I want to try one more thing with it for you guys, because uh, when you go to make a logo for a client, you're going to want to make multiple versions of it. If you ever want to change anything, make sure you copy it over so you don't lose any of your progress on the last one and you can show them a new one. I'm going to select all, actually no, we're going to select the entire thing here. We're going to set the whole thing to a gradient. We're going to go to our gradient tool and do negative 90 degrees for the rotation. I'm going to change the color to the same colors we used before. Making it so the lighter color is coming from the top and it goes down to dark. Now with this, it looks a little bit faded and the colors kind of blend into each other so you can't see the shape too well. So we're going to do the same thing we do with this where we have separate colors on the walls and we're going to take the darker ones that we used up there and we're going to move the color down one on the swatch. We're going to make the lighter color our dark color up here, and make our dark color an even darker. And with that, we are finished. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you learned anything. Thank you.